Hello, the Soul Tribe. Welcome back to my channel, the African Gypsy to Girl Sunshine. Back with another random reading. Spirit just told me to come out today and post the readings. Let's find what's coming out. So I already pulled out two energies as I'm, I was channeling and preparing to get into this message. And the first message is the star. So even though you might feel like you're in a very deep, dark place and you don't know what's going to happen, what's going to come up next, you feel inclined um, to, to just concentrate on the dark things or the things that have not worked out for you. Spirit is saying take the time to concentrate on the good. You might be concentrating on some sort of a fight or disagreement um, that you may have had, but Spirit is saying take the time to focus on the best and the brightest, the things that are going right. You know, there are times when someone's going through stuff and they just step outside and they look at the night sky and as they're looking up, they see such beautiful stars. It's kind of like, whoa, I've been concentrating on things that are down here, yet I need to lift up my uh, my eyes to the bigger picture to try and um, see that this is just a macro, my life is just a macro particle in the grand, grand sphere of things, in the grand sphere of everything else that's going on. And you're also in a time of contemplation, thinking, planning. Some of you might be thinking, okay, I've put in so much work. Is this work actually giving me rewards? Shouldn't I be getting a, a few more rewards than I am right now? Am I on point? Is there something I need to work on? But Spirit is saying that your rewards may have already have come in and is, is you just have to shift your mind and your perception so you can see where the rewards have come in. The rewards may not be monetary rewards. There could be other beneficial rewards in terms of your health, your spirituality, your emotions, your psychology, um, your emotions and everything else or just relations around you. So there may be something that you're working on. I do see that someone's getting a wish fulfillment. Um, something that they're hoping and praying for is finally coming to pass. And it might be happening with the help um, of unexpected friends and partners and stuff like that. Let's jump into the reading. I think I want to get us... Um, one of these cheeky cards, yeah, the funky cards to start us off. Let's get a theme for today's reading. Let's find out why Spirit has brought me out today to do a reading. Someone else will love you right. So someone may have been disappointed by the fights they had with a lover uh, or whatever it was. And now Spirit is saying someone else will love you right. Yes, you're taking, thinking, I put so much work into this relationship. What's going to happen? The thing is, this person underestimated your intelligence. They had you out for a fool. They thought that you were there was nothing much going on in your cranium, in your mind. You were just a blank space, a blank canvas that they could paint whatever doodles or stick men they wanted to put on there. And they underestimated your intelligence. Let's find out what's the message right here. Yeah, I feel like someone is very worried now because they see that you see the truth about whatever it is that they were doing, whatever they were up to. And now they're worried because they know that you know them for who they truly are. And you're in this season where you're waiting for your dreams to come in, your dreams to manifest. And while you're doing that, you're making a judgment call. You're making an important decision, realizing that certain things have to change. There has to be a necessary change. A couple of days ago, I think yesterday I posted a reading um, that spoke about a, a tower. So this tower moment, the tower moment forces you to have to sit back, recollect, make new plans and all of that. You may have read something, discovered something that you were uh, uh, through reading that told you that, you know what, you have to choose a different path now, which is why you're in that period of contemplation. You're like, you know what, I don't want to keep just rushing uh, straight on ahead. Let me just take the time to pause, think for a moment and plan because stopping thinking and planning is just as important as taking action. And you now feel that, you know, you know all that there is to know about the situation, which is why you're making the judgment call. You're seeing clearly and you've done your research. Some of you may be thinking about studying. Oh, looks like someone's getting a new job. Someone's getting a new job, a new contract. And this is why this past person Whatever comic it was, it seemed that they underestimated your intelligence. They thought that you weren't clever enough to figure things out. They thought that you weren't clever enough to get the kind of appointment that you've now gotten. But you're realizing that as a painful chapter is coming to a close, we've got two aces already starting us off, which means that's a lot of new beginnings. After closing off a very painful chapter in your life, you've turned your back on it. And with that energy, I also feel that... Um, you might be seeing something as a missed opportunity or just taking the time to really contemplate and reflect on what you've learned when you're doing your studying. Because remember said we spoke about how you were studying a situation and now you're taking the time to reflect clearly on what you were seeing. 
someone is worried about you getting this new job. See, they're worried about you getting a new job because they thought that they could just underestimate you and thought that you, you wouldn't ever get such again another 10. Two tens, two aces, two closes, two new beginnings. You're wanting to put the burden down and you're making the conscious decision that, you know what, some of this is just some distractions and I need to walk away from these distractions. They're too much hard work. I need to change. I need to choose differently so that different options can become available to me. Yeah, there we are. You're walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. It doesn't serve your energy in any way. It doesn't take you where you need to be going and you're deciding, okay, I'm going to turn my back on this thing right here and find me a new path, a new journey, a new way of looking at things. Let's see, what message are we getting about this energy crossing your path right now? For some of you, if you're wanting to start a relationship with someone, the answer is no at the moment. The Ace of Wands coming up in the reverse position here. You need to do more research into what you want to go into. Yeah, so your third eye is being opened by you taking the time to do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Prayer, meditation, fasting, doing the midnight prayers or 3 a.m. prayers or making dua, whatever it is for you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just connecting to spirit again, hearing the voice of your spirit squad, whatever they may be, however they may operate. Let's find out a bit more here. What do we need to know? What does the collective need to know? What are they turning their back on? Yeah, you're turning your back on a situation when you co where you constantly had to be guarded and on a high alert, where you constantly had to be aware of your surroundings and you now know all that you need to know about your surroundings. Something was previously hidden um, from you about possibly your environment, could be your, your, your close environment, whatever that may mean to you. And now you found out what you need to find out and you're making headway. You're taking steps, taking action. Look at this here. We've got all these ones here. This is talking about creativity, business, enterprise, and all of that. You're now taking steps because you know what you need to know. You've got your guard up and you're now taking action in the direction that you need to because you've gathered all the information that you needed to gather. There could be a sudden departure or a sudden arrival for some of you and you're seeing this clearly. Some of you may be making a decision to leave a sort of a, a family or relationship set up because the circle has changed and this could be a sudden departure in some way. What is the blessing coming up? So universe wants to bless you. This is also a blessing. The universe wants to bless you with a seed that's going to germinate and give you good harvest. And your intuition is telling you that something is coming in. There could be a Pisces that you may be dealing with. Yeah. This is a new beginning, a, a, a blessing coming to you after you had been stabbed in the back. There may have been some dramatic parting. I spoke earlier on about some sort of a parting from a family or something like that. There could be a dramatic parting to unpleasant associates. It's going to happen suddenly. Let's find out a bit more. What's this drama here? Zone in on the message. Clear, concise messages, please, for the collective. Remember that this is a general reading. Not everything will resonate with you. So take the parts that are yours and leave the rest for someone else. Service to the community. So you're heartbroken by someone who felt that them going around um, trying to slander you was uh, their service to the community. Ooh, look at this. I was trying to be all decent in this reading. Here. You don't know me like that. <laughs> Yeah, so someone made it their business to go about and, and talk to everyone about your business. And you're kind of like, lean back, motherfucker. You don't know me like that. Yeah, they don't know you like that. And you feel a bit betrayed that this person actually tried to cross your boundaries and become too familiar with you. Because, you know, it, it's clear. Familiarity breeds contempt. Someone had become too familiar with you. Someone forgot their place, forgot their station. And you have a golden rule that, you know what, if I'm dealing with someone and they begin to show their ass, that tells me that they've crossed certain boundaries with me and I need to pull back my energy and establish clear, healthy boundaries with each relationship that's in your life. This is clear um, messages that you're getting, collective. Let's see what's here. Yeah, someone's doing spell work at your, ba at, at your gate, but it, look, it looks like it's going to backfire on them and they're going to leave dramatically because these people are just trying to hold you back yeah remember i spoke about a dramatic parting to unpleasant associates these people are unpleasant they're doing spell work at your gate leaving little spells and herbs and stuff and all of that 
hoping to trip you up, but your spirit team is so strong. Yeah, as I was saying, your ancestors are attacking them in stealth mode. Your ancestors are going after these people and just taking them out. And they, they don't know we're going to see where it's coming from. You know, when everything is done, if they are lucky at the end of this trial, they might one day hear, you know what, this bad luck you're going through or this tower moment in your life or this lack or this limitation you're experiencing is because of someone whose path you crossed. And this could, they, they might not even find out this information for the longest time ever. They're just going to be bumbling around, walking around in the dark, not knowing what happened, where it came from and how to stop it. Give me another one here. You don't know me like that. Yeah. It's because something's going in your favor because we've got the blessing coming in from God there. So something's going in your favor and these people want to start doing spell work at your uh, gate to try and slow you down. But you know what? You can't stop up something that someone has already manifested because you, you don't know who they are. You don't know where they're coming from, what they think first thing in the morning, what they think last, uh, last thing at night. Then you just want to come in with your spell work and think you can do that. In the midst of all of this, one of these people who may have betrayed you is thinking, you know what, I need to come and apologize, but it's like a half-baked apology. Yeah, I'm sorry, I did spell work at your gate. Yeah, I, I crossed boundaries with you. Now I find out who you truly are, and I'm trying to backtrack track and take my foot out of my, my mouth because I got my foot in it, didn't I? Yeah, that's what you're saying to them. Okay, I don't know why I'm back in this bag. Yeah, okay, Spirit wants me to get another message. <laughs> The jig is up, fellas. There'll be a dramatic parting. It's not a parting that you're going to forget in a hurry. It's one of those like, you're like, hmm. You know, there was this person, the day that they left or the day that we parted ways, this happened. The jig is up. These people are now crying. These are some of those characters wanting to come in with a, a, a false apology. It's called a false apology. False apology. Come in with a false apology because they're now regretting their actions and they're seeing that, oh my gosh, look at what we've done. This is so big. It's a huge whale. We can't just hide it away. We can't just walk away from it. How did we get here? You know, the times in your life when you wake up and like, how did I get myself into this situation? And you realize that you had drowned out your voice of intuition. You're operating more on your... um worldly level and out of your spiritual level you may have gotten counsel and messages and synchronicities and spirit was saying to you no no don't do this don't do this but you decided to dull the voice of your conscience you muted your conscience so that your lower self could speak mm. let's find out a bit more here what's the judgment call what's the decision you're making what's the judgment call yeah the mermaids want to give their messages today so you're making a decision to continue to be confident and move forward. You might be doing a couple of things simultaneously at the same time, taking action towards the things that will make you happy because you've had a bright idea about exactly what you need to be doing. Yeah, you got the clarity. The clarity is for some of you have gotten the clarity about a commitment, a marriage, a house, and you're making a judgment call, making a decision. You've got the clarity. Yeah, there's a painful chapter, a painful cycle you're bringing to an end. There's a Ten of Swords coming in twice. These people that you are dealing with thought that it would be you. They speared through like this. This is what they wanted to do to you. Stab you in the back from all directions. Separate your spirit from your body. But now they're in regret because... They missed the target and they've been found out and it's a dramatic parting. And you're deciding to close off a very painful chapter. You're kind of like, you know what? Um, it's one thing knowing how to fight, how to do battle. It's another thing knowing which battles to fight and which battles to leave well enough alone. Choosing your battles wisely. Not every battle has to be fought by you. Some of these battles just distract you and pull you back from the bigger things you're moving on. You may have gotten revelation through a dream about this battle. Some of these battles were being fought uh, behind your back. You weren't even aware about the amount of nonsense that was going on behind your back until a dream came through and revealed certain things to you. Something that was submerged, that was below the surface, has now been reflected in your dreams. So you've got the water there. I, I, I would like to guess that that's the reflection of the moon in the water. Something's been reflected in your dreams that's been playing out in your physical life. Let's find out more here about the uh, close of this chapter. It's come out twice. 
Yeah, for some people it's because of cheating or whether it's real or suspected infidelity. For some people you're coming out of indecision. We spoke about decision there. So you were in a lot of indecision about which direction to take, but you've come out of that indecision. You're deciding, okay, this is the route I want to take. This is how I want to roll. This is how I want to move forward in the future. Well, we just come out of the Mercury retrograde, so clear thoughts does come rushing in, doesn't it? All right, let's find out more here. What are you contemplating about? Because you are taking time to uh, look at this, contemplating the decision. Because your prayers have gone up and judgment is coming down. Archangel Michael has heard your prayers. Archangel Gabriel has heard your prayers. And it's time for judgment. This, this is a judgment that's going to shock a lot of people because you've got a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, whoever thought that dolphins could fly and someone could fly on a dolphin, you're coming riding in on the wings of spirit and judgment and karma on your side. And now some people are now wanting to, they're giving up. This is putting up their hands, giving up, surrendering what they've been doing because it has all been exposed, brought to the light. Whoa. What else? So you're making a judgment call. Oh, about the path you want to take, a path that's going to give you blessings, that's going to open doors for you, that's going to allow you to walk through the doors of, of value towards something much brighter and bigger. Look at this. We've got the Ace of Pentacles coming in twice. So some of you are making decisions about what you want to do in terms of your career life, and you realize that the path you've been on may have been fraught with a lot of delays and a, a lot of uh, drama there, and that's why you're making a decision to just know, maybe you're kind of like manifesting this parting in some way for some of you. Yeah, you're choosing a different direction. You're deciding to choose a different direction about your finances, your economy, and all of that, needing to make different decisions concerning how, your money. What else do we need to know about the collective's money since we're on this topic? Yeah, you may be doing someone who's very sneaky and elusive, who keeps pretending that they don't have money just because they decide, the day that this person decides to save money, it's on your account. Then they see you, they now feel like, no, I need to save money, I need to keep some money back for A, B, and C. But if you're not there, they can spend freely. But the minute you come up, they're suddenly saving. Someone's leaving a home, a marriage... Because of some communication that's come through to them, a lot of back and forth maybe with someone from a distance, and this is causing you to change your direction. This could be a lot of like um, electronic communication going forth, and someone is deciding, you know what, I need to leave this thing that I was committed to, whether it's a company I was committed to, a group I was committed to, I need to leave that and move forward. Yeah. I need to move forward so I can get my Ace of Pentacles because I can't, I can no longer uh, thrive or grow or expand in this environment. Whoa, that's powerful. That's powerful, guys. It's powerful. So you're getting help from unexpected friends and stuff like that as you're making those decisions. What else do we need to know? Yeah, someone is really bossing up, taking control of their life, taking control of um, every area of 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 their business, a big emphasis on business and stuff like that. Taking care of your paperwork and your administration, documentation that has to be completed to allow you to move forward into the new sphere of money. So you're almost close, but you just have some, uh, some more details to take care of, some more like written details that you need to take care of as you move forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, something's being revealed to you about some unfairness, some injustice. Karma is coming down on someone because the chickens are coming home to roost. Something's being revealed. That's why you're being forced to change direction. Based on the communication you're getting from afar there, this communication is revealing something to you about an injustice. Let's find out what this injustice is. Let's get the cheeky, cheeky bosses to come out here and tell us more. What is the injustice? What is the karma coming down on the karmics? Get out now. So spirit is asking someone to take a certain a sense of urgency towards leaving a situation that they know is now begun to stifle them. That is no longer representative of an environment or a situation that allows you, allows you to grow and thrive. So spirit is saying, get out now. There's some injustice is afoot here. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, you're dealing with people who are not going to stop until something bad happens to them, which is why karma has come down now. Justice is in the wrist, that's a karma, because the planet Saturn is going in retrograde as well. So this is the same representation right there. 
Get out now. They're not going to stop until something bad happens to them. And spirit doesn't want this bad thing to happen when you're around. Spirit wants you to, the bad thing to happen when you're way out of their sphere. Yeah, hidden enemies. Remember we spoke about a secret being revealed. So someone's telling you, you know what? You're trusting Aunt, um, I don't know, Aunt Debbie. But, um, you know, Aunt Debbie is not always in your corner. And there's judgment coming down. For the, I spoke about justice coming down. Justice, judgment has come out twice already. Two judgments and a justice. This is definitely karma. This is something that has gone up to spirit, that has been debated amongst your spiritual squad. And judgment is coming down for the hidden enemies. What kind of judgment are they expecting these comics? Who are not going to stop until something bad happens to them. Well, they're going to get to see you being congratulated this is something that they didn't want because remember you saw how they became more dramatic once your new beginnings came in. This person's initials could be GH. This person could be a Taurus. First in early May. Tell me more about the judgment for the hidden enemies. It's true. It's a Taurus. And they're going through a judgment. They think that they're hidden, so nothing will touch them. Yet spirit, like I always say, is faster than the leg. Yeah, this person is all about drama. Drama is the calling card. When people have got a situation, this is the person who's called in, and they say, you know what, this person here, uh, you say that you can't provoke them. Send me in. I can provoke this person. I can provoke them. Just wait, I can get myself in a state where I can just pretend that I didn't know what I was saying and I can provoke them. They're being tormented by the demons you sent back to them. So remember we spoke about someone doing spell work at your gate and all of that. So it looks like you're doing a return to send a prayer or spell and those demons are sent back to them. And that's uh, causing something bad to happen to them because that's what they were purposing for you. You're basically just transmuti transmutating this energy. You're like, no, wrong address. This is not for me. Return to sender. What do you get when, a letter, when you get a letter that's not yours? You just write RTS and send it right back through the post. You don't even need to open it because it doesn't belong to you. Just focus on your beautiful new beginnings. Don't let yourself get all caught up with these people here. Let's see what's happening for you as these people are getting their karma. Oh, dramatic. More family harmony is coming in for you. These people wanted you to be at loggerheads with your family. And you're being honest with yourself about this connection, about the nonsense that they're causing and all of that. You're no longer um, hiding. Remember a, a couple of readings ago, we spoke about you not wanting to see the truth. Seeing the truth, but not wanting to acknowledge it. And Spirit bringing in a tower moment to, to, to make you acknowledge this truth. Let's find out more here. What else do we need to know about the situation, Spirit? Yeah, could be doing the Capricorn, but I feel more like you're doing someone who's very toxic. Let's find out what comes after this card here. That will also give us more intel on that. Yeah. This devil energy is going to be a failure. These are people who are operating in a very low vibrational energy, and they're going to be a failure. Their plans will fail, and you'll continue to be bountiful and blessed. I say this in another reading. So this might be someone who's logged onto this reading again today, who was watching the previous few readings. Whoa, guys. Let's find out a bit more here. Spirit is saying I must proceed with this. Judgment for the hidden enemies. They have now been forced to reflect on their past actions. They've been because of the failure that's come up of their dark magic. They are forced to reflect on their past actions, forced to retreat, forced to abandon mission. Why is that happening? What, what's going on with this forced to reflect on past actions? Because they took pleasure in your pain. And now they have to look, on those, look at those actions like, you know, what the heck was I doing? Why did I have to go and be all up in this person's business or try and fight them or intimidate them or set them up and all that nonsense? They're being forced to go within, which is a very powerful moment when someone goes within. This could be a Pisces. Remember, we've got judgment coming up already. Um, I like the other judgment card that came up. We've got judgment coming in where things are being brought to the light and they're being forced to reckon with the creator, you know, to, 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 to give accounts of the way they've conducted themselves uh, around you or to do with you. 
but you've got a very supportive community around you that are helping you. Maybe they've seen these people doing spell work at the gate and they walk up to them and they disturb them. Like, well, what are you doing there? What are you doing at that gate? Why, why are you always walking close to that gate? What are you doing? Yeah, they don't know you like that. This person tried to cross boundaries with you and become overly familiar. So be mindful of people who become um, overly familiar with you in a short space of time. People want to act as if they've been your best friend for the longest time ever just because they're trying to gain your confidence and gain information about you. Just relax because remember your spirit team is already on this. So you don't need to be all up. In, in your head about this. Now they want to talk about things because they've seen the karma coming in and the demons you, you sent back to them have come back and reported that, you know what, that's a hot stove. Don't you dare send me back in there again. <clears throat> wow. Excuse me. It could be a cancer sign as well who may be experiencing this. Tell me more. Judgment for the hidden enemies. Okay, a few of them came out. I'll, I'll take them. Yeah, they shall come at you one way, but spirit shall cause them to flee seven ways. It could be seven people involved, and the mystery is about to be solved, and it's going to be easy to solve this mystery. Because spirit is revealing things. Angels are working on your behalf to reveal what has been hidden, what was out of your line of view, what was your blind spot. Someone was a blind spot. You thought they were good. Again, you exposing these people. You, this could be you doing a service to the community because it's not only you who was bothered by this person. They didn't just do it to you. They did it to a lot of people. Again, having a golden rule that, you know what, if someone comes to me in this way, then I'm going to have to employ um, a level 42 clearance action on them. Whatever that may mean to you. <laughs> Don't hesitate once you realize that you have to take certain action about someone who's trying to invade your energy in some way. Yeah, they try to degrade you, to make you feel or seem like you're nothing, you're not important, um, you're, nothing, you're not powerful, you're not worthy, you're not beautiful, you're not hardworking, you're not honest, you're not sweet. They just try to degrade you, to bring you down to their level, because there's no way they could climb up to your level. So they try to pull you down into the mud, but judgment came down. And you're making a judgment call to just say, you know what, I don't deserve to be in this kind of um, a situation. And your ancestors have come through with revelation and enlight enlightenment. These people try to mess with your cranium, but you got swift information that you need to ride solo. You need to ride solo to get away from some of the energies. You check out the motorbike right there. You can only get like a maximum of one, one other passenger on a motorbike. Hey. Riding solo. You got your spiritual intel. You've made your judgment call. And you realize that you have to... Right solo. And here you're very targeted. You know, you've got your bow and arrow there. You intend to strike your target. You intend to win, to conquer, to achieve by any means necessary. Let's find out just a, a couple of more here. What else do we need to know right here, Spirit? <clears throat> so you're put down, putting down a heavy burden and walking away from what doesn't serve you because you're listening to your intuition, to your gut feeling. What do these people think about you? Oh, that came out too quickly. This could be people from your past. And they think you've got a very sweet, adorable, loving kind of energy. Everyone's naturally drawn to you. What do they think about you? Some of them want to be your lovers. Or lover. Or lovers. It could be lovers. <laughs> Some people may want to be lovers and they're having a juggling act, juggling between do I go or don't I? But after all this nonsense, of course, then you have the audacity to try and go and mack on someone or someone out after causing so much drama and chaos and conflict and doing spell work at the gate. I mean, how desperate do you need to be to do spell work on someone to get them to love you? You're taking action moving forward, harnessing your light and your dark power. Remember, I spoke about a level 42 activation or level 42 um, <clears throat> clearance you know, to, to do some self-defense in the face of dark magic, defense against the dark arts. So you're really on top of it and you're like, you know what, I'm not just going to let this slide. I'm not going to sit here and wait for things to play out. I'm going to go head on and meet up with these energies and get the help of spirit and get closer to spirit, whatever it takes, get closer to consciousness. These people just wanted to take your money. There was no equal give and take. What do they think about you right now? What, what do these comics think about you? These people underestimated your intelligence. What do they now think about you? 
What do they think about you? They think you're free, you're happy, Sagittarius energy. They f- you're free, you're happy. You, they think you've got self-love or you're getting love from someone else. They think you're very wise, very grounded, a, a bit of a lone wolf, hard to figure out. What else do they think about you? They think that you have angels on your side and you're healing. Temperance in the star, you're patiently healing. And they think that spirit helps you so much, you've been spoiled by spirit. Spirit listens to you. And they think that you're, you're keeping tabs on them. Yeah. They also think that you're employing, employing some sort of a strategy against them because now they're tormented by their demons. They're in that energy of fear, of paranoia, and all of that over some written communication that they may have sent out. Tell me more. And they think you're choosing a different path and that you're going to meet people who are more willing to work with you on this path. Guys, I enjoyed doing a reading. Till the next one, love and light.